A blessed day to all of you, brothers and sisters, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word in Christ the King Mission Seminary. Today is Saturday of the 21st week in Ordinary Time. Our Mass Presider is Reverend Father Melchor Bernal, SVD. Our celebration will now begin. God, we praise you. God, we bless you. God, we name you Sovereign Lord, Mighty King whom angels worship. Father, by your church adored, all creation shows your glory, heaven and earth grow near your throne, singing holy, 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 Lord of hosts and God alone. Through apostles, faithful prophets, saints who set their world ablaze, martyrs one unknown, unheeded, join one growing song of praise, while your church on earth confesses one majestic trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, God our hope. We are gathered in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of the Lord Jesus Christ be always with you. And with your spirit. Today, we remember and we thank God for St. Augustine, Bishop and Doctor of the Church. He was late into living the true Christian life, but nevertheless, he was converted. And to celebrate worthily this holy sacrifice to the Mass, let us once again be reconciled with God and ask for his pardon and mercy for all the sins that we have committed. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Renew in your church, we pray, O Lord, the spirit with which you endowed your bishop, St. Augustine, that filled with the same spirit, we may thirst for you, the sole font of true wisdom, and seek you, the author of heavenly love, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, on the subject of the fraternal charity, you have no need for anyone to write you. For yourselves have been taught by God to love one another. Indeed, you these were all the brothers throughout Macedonia. Nevertheless, we urge you, brothers and sisters, to progress even more and to aspire to live a stronger life, to mind your own affairs and to work with your own hands, as we instructed you. The Word of the Lord. 
Thanks be to God. The Lord comes to rule the earth with justice. The Lord comes to rule the earth with justice. Sing to the Lord a new song, for He has done wondrous deeds. His right hand was won victory for Him, His holy arm. The Lord comes to rule the earth with justice. Let the sea and what fills it resound, the world and those who dwell in it. Let the, li- let the rivers clap with hands, the mountains shout them for joy. The Lord come to rule in earth with justice. Before the Lord, for He comes, for He comes to rule the earth. He will rule the world with justice and the peoples with equity. The, ro- the Lord comes to rule the earth with justice. We honor now the Holy Gospel. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus told his disciples this parable. A man going on a journey called in his servants and entrusted his possessions to them. To one, he gave five talents. To another, two. To a third, one to each according to his ability. Then he went away. Immediately the one who received five talents went and traded with them and made another five. Likewise, the one who received two made another two. But the man who received one went off dug a hole in the ground and buried his master's money. After a long while, the master of the servants came back and settled accounts with them. The one who had received five talents came forward bringing the additional five. He said, Master, you gave me five talents. See, I have made five more. His master said to him, Well done, my good and faithful servant. Since you are faithful in small matters, I will give you great responsibilities. Come, share your master's joy. Then the one who had received two talents also came forward and said, Master, you gave me two talents. See? I have made two more. His master said to him, Well done, my good and faithful servant. Since you were faithful in small matters, I will give you great responsibilities. Come, share your master's joy. Then the one who had received the one talent came forward and said, Master, I knew you were a demanding person harvesting where you did not plant, and gathering where you did not scatter. So, out of fear, I went off and buried your talent in the ground. Here it is back. His master said to him in reply, You wicked, lazy servant, so you knew that I harvest where I did not plant, and gather where I did not scatter, Should you not then have put my money in the bank? 
so that I could have it back with interests on my return? Now then, take the talent from him and give it to the one with ten. For to everyone who has, more will be given and he will grow rich. But from the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. And throw this useless servant into the darkness outside, where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Gospel reading reminds us once again that God gave us so many gifts, so many talents. And the most fundamental talent that we receive from Him is love. In the first reading, it was already given to us, explained to us by Paul in his letter to the Thessalonians, that we have to live this, exercise love for the sake of the other, not love for our own sake, that is selfishness. The problem probably lies in the fact that we haven't discovered this talent deep-seatedly given to us because we are always looking for that outside of ourselves. When we do that, we will go in our lifetime always searching outside of ourselves. Like the young Augustine, whose feast we celebrate today, he was always looking for that outside of himself. Then because of the so many prayers and tears of Monica, her mother, whose feast we celebrated yesterday, he was able to change his perspective and found love. He even said in his book, The Confession, he said, Late have I loved you, beauty so ancient and so new. Late have I loved you. Although he was late in his con being converted towards God, nonetheless, because of that reality that he was possessed by the love of God, he produced so many things. He wrote so many things. The church is rich because of that. In his confession, he said, You were with me, but I was not with you. They held me back from far from you. Those things which would have not been, were they not in you? He was always distracted during his early years by so many things apparently beautiful. But because of his conversion, he was able to discover his own talent and produce more for the sake of the church. When we search for love outside of ourselves and not discover the giftedness that we are because we are loved by God, then we will always be scattering, not creating something to produce, to, 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 to project and to reflect the glory of God. Augustine talks about that, that light. So, to honor Augustine and to show that we have that talent that we have discovered and not, uh, the, not, the, not hiding it underground, we have to exercise that talent, the fundamental talent given to us. The example would be St. Therese of the child Jesus. She did, she loved all the small things that she was doing. In our lifetime, like, like Augustine, when we are converted, even though we are late in our lives, if we practice that talent of love and share that with others, we will always reflect God's glory because it comes from deep within ourselves where we see we fundamentally God dwelling in us and the expression of that is love sacrifice for the sake of the kingdom of God. How many of us can do that? How many of us right now can really 
see that fundamental talent that we have and express that through service, through compassion, through empathy, through charity. Let us once again with Augustine reflect and find that deep-seated talent of love deep within ourselves and express that to others. When we appear before the judgment seat of God, we will have to account for our use and misuse of the gifts entrusted to us. In prayer, we seek the help of our Creator. Our response, keep our lives burning for you, O Lord. Keep our lives burning for you, O Lord. That the Church may always use many different gifts of her members, let us pray to the Lord. Keep our lives burning for you, O Lord. That government officials may respect God's plan by protecting and promoting the value of creation. Let us pray to the Lord. Keep our lives burning for you, O Lord. That all people may share in the earth's resources and that everyone may cooperate in bringing human and economic development to our country let us pray to the lord keep our lives burning for you o lord that doctors nurses and those in the health care profession may use their gifts to bring christ love and compassion to the poor the lonely the sick and the imprisoned let us pray to the lord keep our lives burning for you o lord that eternal rest be granted upon our deceased relatives and friends. Let us pray to the Lord. Keep our lives burning for you, O Lord. Heavenly Father, help us to remain faithful in the small things of life so that we may be entrusted with greater ones when we come into your kingdom. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. sacrifice may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, 
for the praise and the glory of his name, for the good and the good of all his holy church. Celebrating the memorial of our salvation, we humbly beseech you, mercy, O Lord, that in the sacrament of your loving kindness may be for us the sign of unity and the bond of charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty in our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are praised in the company of your saints, and in crowning their merits, you crown your own gifts. By their way of life, you offer us an example. By communion with them, you give us companionship. By their intercession, sure support, so that, encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses, we may run as, a, as victors in the race before you and win with them the imperishable crown of glory through Christ our Lord. And so with the angels and archangels and with the great multitude of the saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. to pray by sending down your spirit upon them like a dewfall so that we may become for us a body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, a 
as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Onesto our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saints Arnold and Joseph, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us once again address our Father using the words Jesus taught us. Our, our Father, who art, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. sins of the world have mercy on us Jesus Lamb of God you take away the sins of the world grant us Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Acts of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. 
since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally. Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> May partaking of Christ's table sanctify us, we pray, O Lord, that being made members of his body, we may become what we have received through Christ our Lord. Amen. Horatio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our effort to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country and the whole world. We pray for our health workers, 
that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be, may they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest for those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good for all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, help of the sick, pray, pray for, for us. us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calunsod, pray for us. Saints Arnold Johnson and Joseph Renadimet, pray for us. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. Mientras recordes la vida, tú nunca solo estás contigo por el camino.